here is what we're doing today. We are going to try a variety of different chocolates, specifically ones I can obtain in Canada. The peanut butter feastables, bomb as hell. Bomb as hell. But I want to test to see if Mr. Beast's claim of feastables being the best milk chocolate in the world is true. Or if he's just scamming you out of, well, Canadian, $4 Canadian, um, and whatever the fuck it is American. I mean, is he a scam artist? Possibly. We're going to find out today. So, first of all, I do have a couple of these images already because I tried doing this ahead of time and then it wouldn't let me uh, save it for some reason. We're only doing milk chocolate. Uh, let's grab... I got this. Uh, I got the dairy milk. I got the Beastables because that's the most important thing so that I can clickbait this properly. I'm gonna need uh, lint milk chocolate bar. Hey babe, is that a lint Swiss classic? Did you just throw my chocolate? You just threw my chocolate. Oh my goodness, she just threw my chocolate. It's in the cat litter as we speak. She's in denial. Suck the Hershey's JPEG in here. And feast bows. Sucks balls. That is D tier. And we are going to make it pink. Oh, here's how we're going to do things. My girlfriend's going to help me organize the chocolate so that I don't know what chocolate I'm eating. I'm going to blindfold myself so that I can't see the chocolate. Because I feel like if I can see the chocolate, I'll be able to distinguish which chocolate I'm eating. And that defeats the purpose of the whole blind thing. Then I'm going to rate, rate the chocolate on a scale. Oh, one second. Of S to sucks balls, which is essentially the deer or F tier. And we're going to find out what chocolate actually tastes the best. Now, I understand the claim could be that it's the healthiest chocolate in the world, but that's not what he claims. He claims it's the best tasting chocolate in the world and that Hershey's sucks. So I've also added Hershey's to this list. So we're gonna find out today what chocolate bar, milk chocolate bar is the best. And then, you know, for a little reward afterwards, I got, I got the peanut butter one. Um, which is my favorite Feastables, which, I mean, that one definitely isn't a scam because it's just delicious as fuck. But I, we're about to find out if milk chocolate's just a scam across the board. That's what's going to happen today. Okay. Um, by the way, if you guys enjoy this video or this stream, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come hang out with me during my streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. MST, and on Saturdays, it's 3 p.m. MST. So, definitely come hang out, and if you enjoyed the video, also hit the like button and leave your favorite chocolate bar in the comments. Helps with engagement. Thanks so much for here. Oh, let me, let me, I'm such a bad content creator. I should have announced this stream. Oh my God, I look like I'm trying to be a gangster. This is the worst. It looks like a do-rag. I'm not gonna wear this so that I don't get shot right now through the screen. This might actually be better around my neck and then that way I can just lift it. Oh wait, no, how am I gonna eat the fucking chocolate after? There we go. We'll, we'll wear it like a bandana. It's my old feastable chocolate bar. And as you know, it tastes better than a Hershey's bar. Now, I know it tastes better. So we're going for taste here. It's not healthier, but we'll keep watching. Jimmy, why are you engulfing your old Feastables bar in flame? Well, it all started about one year ago. I was in a Feastables business meeting, and I realized...
tasting better than Hershey's wasn't so special. Damn, that's a shot. Everything tastes better than being better than Hershey's? Well, how about being better than everyone? The best on earth. And from that day forward, we worked tirelessly. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? The best on earth. And he worked tirelessly. Let's just keep this in mind. He claims he has the best tasting chocolate in the world. You see that little globe showing up on the screen? In the world. That's the that's the circular device we live on in this planet, in, in, in this universe. The circular device. Exactly, babe. You understand. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Like I'm telling you, let us to this. The best tasting chocolate ever made by mankind. Ever made by mankind. I, I'm just resting my point. It better be the best. It better be the only chocolate in S tier. Okay? That's all I'm saying, Jimmy. Also known as our brand new Peace Bar. This is the best tasting chocolate on earth. Good job, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we know that's the best tasting chocolate in the world? You're fired. Well, I'm about to find out for you. That's how we know. Before we start, how are we establishing the difference between these categories? Is it all going to just be based off a of taste? Well, yeah. That's the whole point. Well, yes, it is the whole point. But is it going to be like the perfect creaminess, the perfect, mm, like, chocolatiness? Some are going to be slightly creamy than others. You just have to take it into account and say, hmm, do I like it better like this or not? Well, I, I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out what determines S rank. Okay. Give me the first chocolate. Well, if you let it melt for too long, it's not that good. Oh. Okay, yeah. Write down the rank. Tell me later. Okay. What do you think it was? Which one do I think it was? I want to say that one was probably the no name. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, one sec. I got to clean my palate now. Okay, one second. Really? Uh-huh. You can't just hold out your hand. Mm-mm. Okay. This one's not bad. It wasn't bad. The texture at first was. But the chocolate itself was okay. I'm going to say... I'm going to give that one a... I'm going to give it a B as well. And I think it was the dairy milk. It's either that or the one of the no-name brands like Great Value or something. One, yeah, I think the first one actually is a C. It was pretty bad if you let it melt in your mouth. This really blinds me because my eyes are just like closed. No, see, now I know which one this is because I touched it. This is the dairy milk. Uh -huh. <laughs> so next time we don't touch it. Then. That one's an A. Yeah, I think dairy milk's definitely A. Okay. I don't know why I like it. But the question is, is Feastables above it? I don't know. We're about to find out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The melting factor isn't good. It doesn't melt easily. And, and and that one, I'm not gonna lie, that one kinda goes in the sucks balls. Does it? Yeah. It it kinda does. And I'm gonna guess it's the Hershey's. If that's the Feastables, that fucking sucks for Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> um Yeah, uh give me a sec. That one just left a taste in my mouth. If that one was the Feastables, that's crazy because I fucking love the peanut butter one. I know you do. But 
I I know it's not unless you broke it into a half piece. Because I, I could broke everything. You told me to. Oh no, just like I meant just the big ones that are like Well yeah, but some of them are like large squares. Yeah, so you're supposed to break the large squares down into like the same size as the small ones. Let me ask you this. Have I already eaten the most expensive one? The lint. Yeah. Oh, that one tastes awful with pure leaf. Yeah, but it doesn't leave a lingering taste in my mouth. <laughs> mm. This one's smooth. This one melts okay. I didn't feel like there was any branding on it. I'm going to say this is great value. I don't know if this is better than the dairy milk. Well, if I say S tier, it's like... S tier. So maybe maybe I want to try the dairy milk again. I'm going to give it an A for now. A? Yeah. So far, nothing's in S tier, right? Jimmy, this ain't looking good for you, man. I'm just saying, Mr. Beast, you've scammed us all. And we just believe you because you got 200 million subscribers or more. You have like a billion fucking subscribers across all your channels. Mm. I've had them all now. Based off of what my tongue can feel. I would say that's the fish bowls. Where does it sit though? It melts fast. I'm going to give that one the A. And then the, the last A I did, I'm going to move it up to S. I think I thought it was great value. Okay, we're ready. So lint was a B tier. Yeah. Okay. Dairy milk was A. Okay, yeah, we knew that. The one you thought was no name and was a C was great value. Even though it was the first one you had. Okay. I, I, I knew it was one of the two. <laughs> I just wasn't sure which one. And the one that you thought was great value and was an F was no name. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait. Are you sure? Because I said it was feast. I'm sure. Did I actually say the last one was, what was the last one that I said it was? You put the one you thought was Mr. Beast's into A, but I'm not there yet. No okay, but what, what did I guess the S one was? Great value. Okay. I mean, that's literally, oh no, great value beats them by one cent. Damn. Second, sh oh no, yeah, second cheapest chocolate. You want to hear the greatest irony of all ironies? Is Feastable sucks balls? Yeah, the one you thought was Hershey's. And the Hershey's that you thought was Mr. Beast was A. I just say it, Jimmy, okay? You switched them. Which I think is hilarious. Your chocolate kind of sucks. <laughs> but not the peanut butter stuff. Keep making this. Keep making the peanut butter ones because it's very delicious. But Mr. Beast, come on. So this wasn't all a video about putting hate on Jimmy. It's mostly a joke when I'm throwing shade at him, but the tier lists are made accurately to our taste buds. Um, my girlfriend obviously also ranked the chocolate that we had and I mean maybe I was a little too harsh with the Feastables milk chocolate maybe it did belong in C and not sucks balls because it's at the end of the day chocolate's chocolate you're gonna eat it anyways but I, I'm not taking a shot at him um, I just wanted to make a cool video we finally got Feastables in Canada so I mean round of applause for that um, I, I, I like the chocolate. I like the peanut butter one. I like the milk crunch one. Um, but the milk chocolate one compared to other milk chocolates here it wasn't the best tasting. And it's kind of ironic that Hershey's was actually higher than Feastables on my list. Um, on, on both of our lists even. But uh, I hope you guys just enjoyed watching me do something kind of fun and dare I say, somewhat scientific to my taste buds. Um, but if you guys like watching this content, you want to come hang out with me live, you can hit the subscribe button. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, 
and Friday um, at 6 p.m. MST and every Saturday at 3 p.m. MST. So if you're interested in hanging out in one of the live streams, you can hit the subscribe button and come do that. Um, I'm trying to navigate my focus more towards making live streams that I can turn into YouTube videos. Um, and so that that's kind of my focus going forward. So even if you don't hang out in the live streams, you will continue to get uh, YouTube videos in the future. Um, but definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm trying to get monetized by the end of the year, um, just on like a base level. Um, and I, I believe I can over go that, surpass that goal, but I need your guys' help. And you know, right now there's about, I think my stats say like 80% of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave the comment down below of what your favorite chocolate bar is. And if it's Feastables, hey, no hate against you. Everybody has different taste buds. And I just hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.